Hello class, I am Sophia and today we are going to be talking about the apostrophe. Alright, so how to use an apostrophe. Apostrophes are one of the most misused elements of grammar and that is why I decided to focus this lesson on them. After today, you will never misuse them again. <laughs> now, the apostrophe has three uses. One, to form possessive of nouns. Two, to show the omission of letters. And three, to indicate certain plurals of lowercase letters. And so they are not used for possessive pronouns or for noun plurals, including acronyms. Now that's really dense, so we're going to break that down real nicely. First things first, when not to use an apostrophe. When the word is plural, meaning that there are more than one of it, you do not want to use an apostrophe. For example, in the following sentence, ducks are amazing companions. We would not want to use an apostrophe. Why, why would we not want to use an apostrophe in that sentence, class? Nadia. Well, that's a plural of ducks. It's not saying that any of those things belong to the ducks, which is what you would want to use them for. Exactly. And what would that say? Like, what, what would that mean, duck apostrophe s? Ducks are amazing. So duck owns. Or duck is our amazing companions. That's what I was getting at. But you guys are absolutely right, of course. All right. So, when can I use an apostrophe? I will tell you. If the noun is showing possession, then you want to use an apostrophe. Now, just to refresh your memory, possession means to own something, to show ownership. So, here's an example of a correct usage of a possessive apostrophe. The duck's dance moves were spectacular. And so, in this sentence, the non-example would be the omission of the apostrophe. So if it were to just say the duck's dance moves were spectacular without an apostrophe, because that would just indicate plural ducks, and that would not make any sense. But wait! If the noun is plural and possessive, you want to use the apostrophe after the S. For example, the duck's apostrophe dance moves were spectacular. So in this sentence, we see that the dance moves belong to the plural of ducks. So this is a duck ensemble as opposed to a single duck dancing. Now, if the noun is already plural, you're going to want to revert to the original rule. So the example I used is the children's dance moves were far inferior. So why, why is this the case? Why is the... Why does children's without an apostrophe not make sense? No. Well, in this sense, if it would just a plural, then it would have no possessive influence on it being their dance, and it would just be like some random dance. You would not know who's doing the dance. And it would be a bit redundant, right? Because children as a single word is already plural. Right, right, yes. So that's that's kind of what I'm trying to communicate here. And, and that can be a little bit tricky, especially if you're learning the language, because I think people, especially people who are, uh, you know, English as a, as a second language, their inclination is to want to just tack the S on to every word. And we don't want to do that. So next thing, when else can I use apostrophe? If you are using a contraption, an apostrophe works. So for example, in a sentence, the ducks cannot do the Harlem Shake, you can change it to the ducks can't do the Harlem Shake. And in this situation, cannot is turning into can't. And the contraptions, you know, they're really useful. It helps to, it helps to make it sound a bit more colloquial. And uh, that's what I was trying to get at here. How, how do you think contraptions might change the tone in a sentence? But uh, yeah, I guess I already kind of answered that for you guys. So um, where it gets sketchy, pronouns. If you are using a pronoun, only use an apostrophe if you are trying to say something is. So pronoun is. So. If you were to say, he is going to the mall, you could say he, apostrophe s, going to the mall. 
he's going to the mall. Or you could say, it is going to rain. So that would translate to, it's, it apostrophe s, going to rain. So it's really important. You do not want to use an apostrophe with a pronoun to show possession. And this is like one of the most common mistakes that people make, even when they go on to their secondary and you know, after high school and college. People will do this. They'll, because like, <laughs> they know the, the regular possession rules and they want to show that the duck is hers, but really, you know, the duck is hers, no apostrophe. So anytime you see that, you just want to think to yourself, what am I saying? If, if you look at this sentence, it would read, the duck forgot it is magazine at home. So that's how you want to remember that. You always want for pronouns to just don't use the apostrophe if it's showing possession. All right, so there are a couple weird situations I'd like to go over, and um, here they are. If you are using a name that is possessive and plural, you're gonna put the apostrophe after the S. So for example, the Jacksons' house <laughs> is for sale. And here, we're referring to the entire Jackson family. So if you're using a name that is possessive and ends in S, you can put the apostrophe after the S, or you can write it as it is, and then do follow the original rule, which is apostrophe S. So both of these examples are all right. Uh, the most important thing, though, is that you need to pick one way and stay consistent, because either way is correct, but if you go one way and then later on in your essay you have a different form, you're going to look inconsistent and it's going to, you know, ruin your credibility. So that's one of the most important things. And it's tricky because you'll have different teachers who will tell you to do it this way and then others that will show you to do it this way. Either way is correct, but you just have to stay consistent. And so that about does her, but the last thing I wanted to close on is just that when in doubt, don't use an apostrophe. If you think it looks weird, it's probably wrong. Just leave it off. And that is all. Oh my god, this didn't record. Shh.